Hey gang, Eric Andreas, your Guitar Sage here, and today we're going to learn 8675309, also known as Jenny by Tommy Two-Tone. And I'm going to show you the licks and the tricks and all the bit in here. Um, it's going to be part one of a two-part series, so in part two I'll teach the guitar solo, okay? So obviously in this uh, song here you need to know a little bit about guitar because I'm going to be throwing stuff out pretty quickly here, okay? So um, here we go. This is the main lick. Uh, we're in the fifth position, meaning your first finger's at the fifth fret. And the strings that we're going to be hitting are three, two, and one. Okay? And that's the basic uh, vibe the whole time. So you're going to go... Bring your third finger up to the seventh fret here of the uh, third string. Um, actually, let's go back here for, for just a second. So the first string's open, second string, you have your first finger at the, at the fifth fret, third string, you have your second finger at the sixth fret, and that's the basic. You put your third finger at the seventh fret, back to the sixth fret, and then you're going to slide your fingers down here. I use fingers two and three on fret four, so four, four, zero. Easy enough. So it's just think about like, basically there's three things. There's this, this, and this. That's the whole lick. Simple enough, right? Okay, all right, so that's the main lick. You'll hear it a lot through the song. Um, the pre-chorus are chords E, D, and A, okay? We also have a little kind of in-between lick there. Um, if you don't know your open chords, you need to know them. Um, any of the techniques and stuff like that that I'm using here today, if you have any issues with it or you're a new guitar player or a seasoned guitar player. I have a ton of free stuff at yourguitarsage.com, including a free ebook that will show you these chords and a bunch of other stuff. So make sure you check that out. All right. All right. So the pre-chorus goes E. So, chords are G, E. For this D, you don't have to hit the high E string. You're just going to play strings uh, 4, 3, 2. Um, and so here you're playing that D, and underneath it you're walking this bass line down. Or you could play it like this. Doesn't matter. Five, four, zero, two. And that's E, A, D, A. Easy enough, right? And then we're back into the main lick again. Okay, great. So, um,. There, there's two other little parts that are in the verse here. There's one where he does some double stops. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of description here, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. And he goes... Okay, these are double stops. Double stops are when we play two notes at a time. Just rewind that if you need help with that. That's in the second position. And we have two power chords. That's A and B. If you need help with power chords here on YouTube, type in Your Guitar Sage Power Chords, and I've got a lesson for that, okay? Um, so. In the second verse, he does this lick that goes. All right, and so here we have power chords again. This is an F sharp power chord. D, 
power chord. I'm muting that sixth string and uh, strings one and two as well. And then A, B. And actually he does this nice little vibrato on it. And so you could either hold the power chord and do that, or it's actually a little bit easier to just grab the high part of that power chord instead of just grab. Okay. All right. That gets us to the, that's verse, pre-chorus, chorus, obviously, eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine. Right? And then we got a bridge, and it goes like this. You can think about a C sharp minor chord. If you don't know this theory, make sure that you get that ebook. Also, if you need help with any of this picking or music theory or anything like that, there's a great uh, mini series that I have for free for you at unstoppableguitarsystem.com. Check that out as well. Links are in the description below. Okay, so the bridge goes. Um, you can think about a C sharp minor chord. Now we're just playing the top part of the chord. We don't need the bass note. And it goes like this. So we're turning that C sharp minor into a C sharp minor seven. Or, or like this. And then to a, an F sharp minor, just playing the top part, and then A and B, just playing the top part of the chord, I'm playing it like this. So the whole bridge would go like this. Okay, the second time around, you can just hit them instead of arpeggiating them. Okay, good. What else? I think that is it. That's it for part one. For part two, we're going to be doing the solo, so join us for that. Um, hopefully you found this helpful. If you have, make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos that I do, Go to twitter.com slash your guitar sage or facebook.com slash your guitar sage. Links are below. Uh, make sure you pick up the ebook. Make sure you go to Unstoppable Guitar System. Watch those great videos there. And if you have dogs or cats, make sure you spay and neuter them so those little suckers aren't running around everywhere. All right? This is Eric Andreas with your guitar sage. See ya.